Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Today, I want to talk to you about some of the reasons why you should Don Moy, your deadline's coming up. Yes, sorry. There are many, many reasons to get into tech. Sure, the salaries are very high. Sure, your work schedule is going to be very flexible as long as you have a laptop and an internet connection, you can work from the Bahamas. And some of the perks for working in these tech companies are borderline insane. I mean, sure, you can understand phone bill reimbursements and your catered lunches and dinners and all that stuff. But there's a lot of tech companies that have beer on tap and that do private parties and concerts for their employees. But behind this veneer of glamour, make no mistake, there is a darker side. Nothing is ever as good as it seems. And today I'm gonna pull back the curtains a little bit and I'm going to talk about some of these warts and blemishes. You are crazy ugly! <sighs> Reason number one is software engineering is an exempt job, typically. And what that means is you're not paid by the hour, you're paid for the work that you do. I'm on the clock and ready to rock! While that may seem like it's fair in terms of the value you're offering to the company, that may not always be the case. Yeah, Jamal, what's up? Ashik? Stay calm. Breathe. Remember how I said that the work had to be delivered by the end of the month? Well, it's end of next week now. <laughs> Wait, what? That is not going to work. End of this month would have been tight enough as is. End of next week? Am I gonna get more developers to help me out with this? <laughs> what do I look like, a developer factory? No, all your teammates are busy. You're not gonna get extra help. But hey, I have full faith in your abilities. This is going to set you up so well. If your name is on a project, come hell or high water, you're going to have to deliver. And these tight deadlines can be really stressful. So if you have something important that you have to deliver by the end of next week, even when all of your other teammates will have logged out, I'm going home. you can't stop thinking about the risk of you missing your deadline because there's still too much work to be done. And don't get me wrong, it is always okay ask for help and you should always always be vocal about how your work is too much to get done by yourself given the deadlines if it ever seems like that but this isn't something that comes as easy to new developers if this is your first year and you've just broken into software engineering you're trying to impress your manager you're trying to impress your colleague jim who sits across from you you're trying to impress sarah's dog who she's decided to bring into the office because she couldn't get a pet sitter for the day you're trying to impress the houseplant on your desk all the while struggling with crippling imposter syndrome much like every other developer that is new and in the room with you this is called fake it till you make it and the last thing you want to admit to your boss or your colleagues is you can't get the job done you're worried that they might think you don't understand the problem well enough or you don't have the tools you need to get the job done and that is why you can't get the job done but trust me it helps to over communicate when you're thinking that the work might be too much or when you have a lot of questions and this will help everybody have realistic expectations off you and make sure they expect work on you within reasonable deadlines. And reason number two, the job is not only challenging, but it is also highly competitive. And it's gonna be like climbing Mount McKinley with your balls stapled to a piano. The first day that you walk into the office as a software engineer, or you walk to your desk if you're working from home, you do you, is the day you commit to a path of lifelong learning. Sounds fantastic, right? And it is, you're going to be learning new things every month. You're going to be able to build new and more exciting things. But the moment you grow comfortable or complacent and you stop learning new things and you keep leaning back on the same skill sets that you have to complete the narrow range of tasks that you have been completing successfully in the past, you are going to be outdated and left behind so quick. The software engineering landscape changes so fast. New technologies and frameworks come around that help you get the same job you did yesterday done so much better and efficiently and cleaner tomorrow. And the job is very competitive to get. Software engineering interviews will include anywhere between five to eight rounds of interviews that are extremely thorough. Interviewers are going to be poking and prodding at your accounts of past projects that you've participated in. And when they're not doing that, they're going to be expecting expecting you to solve a problem live as they breathe over your shoulders and expect you to explain to them while you're coming up with a solution and writing out the solution how you're doing it. Oh no! We suck 
But it's not all despair and distress. There are a lot of software engineering jobs out there because the demand for this field is simply booming. But still, the process for you to land that first job or that nth job is competitive and you will have to go through a lot of applications and it's an exhausting process. And reason number three, your social life may take a hit because of the job. The job can be so all-encompassing that it will affect the way you talk, the kind of things you talk about, and it's so inescapable that it even creeps into company happy hours. <sighs> Isn't this nice? We're meeting outside of the office to talk about non-work related stuff. I've missed this. Hey, Tarek, speaking of, how is your daughter doing? You're changing schools for her, right? Yes, there's three schools that I'm currently selecting from and I'm trying to optimize for the interest that she has and the curriculum that she needs to complete in order to be placed into the more advanced programs. I will admit this would have been easier if the school website had better documentation on their curriculum and the programs available. Tarek, it would be better if you had better documentation for that internal library that you're maintaining that our team is trying to use. Can we talk about that? Look, none of this is meant to gatekeep anybody from software engineering. I love the profession and I would wholeheartedly recommend it to a friend. Preparing for a career in software engineering involves a lot of time and a lot of work. And just like any other profession, it has its own set of drawbacks. And I just wanted to give you insight into some of those drawbacks so that when you do decide to become a software engineer, you know what you're truly signing up for.